I heard a, at least six gunshots back to back. There was just pop, 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 like six gunshots straight away. Tonight at 6, we continue to follow breaking news out of Wellington. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office investigating a double shooting. It happened shortly after noon in the 1200 block of White Pine Drive. Violent crimes detectives investigating the circumstances surrounding the shooting. And WPTV News Channel 5's Chris Gilmore has been at the scene all afternoon. A lot of people puzzled as to what exactly happened out here in Wellington, a quiet neighborhood we are in right now at White Pine Drive. You can see, though, that wasn't the case today. Lots of crime scene tape, and it's been here for a majority of the afternoon since 12 or so. That's when reports of this shooting came out. Two people taken to the hospital, an adult and a juvenile. They were trauma hawked out, which kind of gives you an idea of the seriousness of the situation. And you can see also how serious the investigation is out here. A mobile command unit, several crime scene units, and deputy after deputy really calming the scene for all pieces of evidence. We have video for you that you can see several evidence markers out as they try and figure out exactly where those shots were fired from, how many. We did speak to some residents in the neighborhood, though, who were at home at the time of this broad daylight shooting. They say they were inside at the time, but they definitely heard what happened. Here's what the person had to say. They did not want to be on camera. I was in my room. It was like 12 midday. I heard a, at least six gunshots back to back. There was just pop, 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 like six gunshots straight away. And I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear no commotions. So again, that person did not want their face on camera. However, more than willing to talk to us about how shaken they were by this situation. Lots of questions still left unanswered as the investigation continues. However, Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office does tell us that there is no threat to the community and that there is no arrests made at this time. So if anybody has any information, they are encouraged to go ahead and contact Palm Beach County Crime Stoppers. Reporting in Wellington, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5.